went on a hunt for street art all around Medellin and a bunch of things told us that Moravia was the best place to go for street art, but they also said it was super dangerous and you should only go with locals and nobody wanted to go with us and get stabbed. <laughs> so we went on our own and the first thing you step off the train there's this big hill covered in a garden. So we went there and talked to the women and asked them how the rest of the barrio was and they said it was completely safe and the people of Moravia were super nice. And another girl took us on a little tour and brought us to the cultural center that we were trying to track down. A lot of people told us to be careful in Colombia because of its bad reputation. But over the last few years, that's really been changing and Medellin is actually a really safe city. We met up with Matias, the awesome Chilean guy that we'd met in Panama. And we went to Plaza Botero, which is a big plaza where there's a lot of really rad sculptures by an artist named Botero. Yeah, Botero is one of the most famous Colombian artists for his uh, voluminous figures. He doesn't like calling them fat or obese. They're huge. <laughs> Some of them are just distorted. There's also the Antioquia Museum, which has a lot of his paintings and art by a bunch of other artists, including some incredible contemporary artists with a lot of interesting political pieces. Outside of the Museum of Modern Art, there's a really cool park called Ciudad Rios, where all the hippies hang out, and we spend a lot of time chilling in the park with them, yeah. petting really awesome dinosaur dogs. <laughs> incredible murals there. Probably some of our favorite that we saw in all of Medellin. There were a lot of hippies slacklining. <laughs> and uh, what is it called? The thing where you're crawl, you're like climb up those aerial silks. silks. Aerial silks. There's a lot of people doing aerial silks. We went to the botanical garden in Medellin because it was free and there were a lot of giant iguanas there in a really pretty pond. Also it was hot. Riding around Medellin was insane. Like mostly because all of the streets are one way and we just kept getting lost and doing U-turns and it's like impossible to make a left. So we decided to park the bikes for most of our time there and just take the metro because it was cheap and easy. Although it's very squished, there's a lot of people that take the metro. Sardines. We took the metro cable or the metro cable up the hill into Parque Arvi. There were a lot of pine trees and we hiked around and a dog adopted us. She's beautiful. I bought her a sausage. Yeah, she loved it.